In September 2022, I presented my latest method for a layout control bus. My primary tool for this task is Arduino, serving as the backbone for most of my layout control operations. I've chosen to implement the CMRI protocol, a straightforward and easy to set up system utilizing the RS485 communication standard with a two wire configuration. For those familiar with Peter Waterman's making tracks, you may have noticed his preference for a CAN bus system in his layouts. The CAN bus approach provides a distinct alternative to CMRI, offering compelling features. However, it demands a deeper understanding for effective utilization. Several CAN layout control bus protocols are readily available on the internet, with some offering Arduino compatibility. To effectively implement these protocols, it's crucial to grasp their underlying structures. One promising solution is the C-Bus, well supported by MERG, Model Electronic Railway Group. MERG provides a variety of kits suitable for diverse layout operations. They have developed a shield compatible with various Arduino models, the software is in its early stages. You can find preliminary examples and information on usage in their wiki slash knowledge base. Another option worth exploring is the Open LCB group, although I haven't delved deeply into this system approach yet, in the upcoming videos, I'll demonstrate the fundamentals of connecting an Arduino Nano to an affordable MCP2515 pluggable module. Utilizing the MCP can library, I aim to share knowledge and document my progress with you as I take incremental steps in my CAN journey. I've established a GitHub repository featuring several example sketches. My learning philosophy involves adopting the keep it simple stupid KISS approach, especially when diving into a new system. Regardless of the microcontroller I'm working with, my initial goal is to harness the capabilities of its general purpose input and output GPIO pins. Currently, I have two units ready to kickstart this learning journey. These units were acquired online and have incurred a cost of £10. I will be using the Arduino IDE 2.2.1 to show the code and try to explain how the sketch works. You will need to install the MCP can library first. This is straightforward in version 2 compared to the older version. This sketch you see is the can underscore send which you can find in the repository. This will just send two different messages on to the CAN bus every five seconds. You will see the first two lines of code we include two libraries that we need for this simple sketch to work. The SPI library is needed to talk to the MCP2515 module. The MCP underscore CAN library does all of the hard part for us. These will get explained as I work through the code. The next few lines of code are for showing what pins we need to get the MCP2515 to work. These do not get compiled by the IDE. After the comments, we have two global variables being declared. Constant SPI underscore CS underscore pin equals 10 is used to set the SPI to use pin 10 of the Arduino Nano. This is fixed by the Nano hardware and is required by the SPI library. Constant can underscore NT underscore pin equals 2 is used to set the interrupt required by the MCP underscore can library. We then see the line MCP underscore can can SPI underscore CS underscore pin. This is creating an instance of the MCP underscore can class and initializing it with a specific chip select CS pin MCP underscore can. This is the name of the class that represents the MCP 2515 can controller. It's part of the MCP underscore can library, which provides functions for interacting with MCP 2515 based can modules. CAN, this is the name of the instance of the MCP underscore CAN class. You can think of it as a variable of type MCP underscore CAN. This instance will be used to access the functions and properties provided by the MCP underscore CAN class. SPI underscore CS underscore PIN This part is the constructor of the MCP underscore CAN class, and it takes an argument, which is the chip select, CS, PIN used to communicate with the MCP 2515. The SPI underscore CS underscore pin is a variable or constant representing the specific pin number to be used as the chip select pin. We next move into the void setup function. The first line is for setting up the serial monitor which we use for debugging purposes. Serial.begin, 115,200, I have set the baud rate at 115,200, 
it is important to take note of this when opening the serial monitor in the IDE. We then need to initialize the MCP2515 and this is done with the line, if, can dot begin, MCP underscore any, can underscore 500 kbps, MCP underscore 8 MHC, equals equals can underscore OK, this block initializes the MCP2515 can controller using the can dot begin function from the MCP underscore can library. It specifies the operation mode, MCP underscore any allows the library to automatically detect the mode, and the baud rate, can underscore 500 kbps, and the crystal frequency, MCP underscore 8 MHC, if initialization is successful, indicated by can underscore OK. It then prints a success message and sets the mode to MCP underscore normal. If initialization fails, it enters the else statement, it prints an error message and enters an infinite loop, while, 1, effectively stopping the program. The final line of the void setup is, attach interrupt, digital pin to interrupt, can underscore nt underscore pin, receive ISR, falling, this line attaches an interrupt to the specified pin, can underscore nt underscore pin, which is pin 2, with the receive ISR function as the interrupt service routine, ISR, dot, the interrupt is triggered on the falling edge which means it will be triggered and the signal transitions from high to low on the CAN bus. The void loop function has four lines of code, send message, on, this uses a function I have written which will be seen later in the video, delay, 5000, this uses the Arduino built-in delay function and I have set its value to 5000 millisecond or 5 seconds, send message, of, this does the same as the on message and then we have the final delay, this will loop forever while the Arduino is powered. The next function is the send message, void send message, const char message, this line declares a function named send message that takes a parameter message, which is a pointer to a constant character array, string, dot, declare and initialize buffer, byte message, 16, equals, 0, this line declares an array of 16 bytes named message and initializes all elements to 0. The next line, strncpy, char, message, message, 16, Copy the message to buffer strncpy is a standard C library function that copies characters from one string to another, in this case, it copies characters from the message parameter, a C style string, to the message buffer. The t char cast is used to convert the message buffer from a byte array to a char array. This is necessary because strncpy works with char arrays. The next line creates a can message, can dot send message buff, 0x12302, message, can dot send message buff is a function from the MCP underscore can library that sends a message on the CAN bus, it takes four arguments, 0x123, the message ID, arbitrary in this example, you can replace it with your desired ID, dot, 0, the message object, use 0 for standard messages, dot, 2, the length of the data in bytes, assuming, on, or, of, is a two-character message, dot, message, the data buffer containing the message. The final two lines are used for debugging, these lines print a confirmation message to the serial monitor indicating that the message has been sent, it prints both the static text, message sent, and the actual message passed as the parameter, message. The final function receive ISR is not needed in this example as we're just sending messages and not actively receiving them.